So guys, welcome back to my channel. First of all, a heartfelt apology from my side uh, because I was unable to upload any kind of videos for the last four or five months, and that's the reason why I gave that long intro to show you that I re I was really working very hard for those grades. The subjects were a bit complicated, and uh, studying at a university of excellence really puts you. Through a lot of challenges, projects, seminars, and a lot of things. So keeping pace with all of those things, I was not able to, you know, actually invest my time on uh, any kind of videos. I'm like very sorry for that. So the point of today's video is uh, to tell you guys how you should structure your course, how you should select the modules, or how you should select the subjects that you're going to take in that particular semester, and how to get the best marks out of it. So it's not like the grades that you saw was easily achievable. You have to put a lot of hard work into it, but it's not like it's undoable. It's like completely feasible. And so you invest your time into it and you'll definitely see the results uh, that it's going to bring to you. So without any further ado, subscribe to my channel, share with your friends and families who are looking into the opportunity of coming to Germany and start their uh, life in masters or PhD programs or in their bachelor's life as well. So I'll give the link of my uh, WhatsApp group uh, in the description below so that you guys can join and ask your relevant questions regarding uh, all these aspects that I just mentioned. So also the room tour is left, isn't it? Let's give you guys a room tour. So <laughs> this is my bed. That's my entrance. So yeah, this is Zuvar Shankun, which means I got it for free. This thing was already there. This bed, one of my friend like gave it for free. Like really blessed person I am. This one costed me like uh, like four or five euros. Yep. Uh, this bag is Zuvar Shankan. It was new. I got it from the university. This thing also is Zuvar Shankan. I got it for free. But picking up, picking it up and bringing it home was like super, super difficult. So the table I bought for 105 euros at the very beginning. And that's my beautiful looking PC. These are my like daily stuffs. This is written blood and sweat because in December I was walking at Flink and this was uh, Flink money from, from the tips. And then I left Flink because I had to study. Yeah. yeah. And there are some sweets which I bought from India. Yeah, that's my God. Yes. And uh, that uh, lamp, this lamp is gorgeous. Like really gorgeous. And this was also Zuber Shankin. It lights up beautifully. Just mind blowing. And today it is raining a bit, but the view is like surreal. In the snow times, man, it's some view that we get from here. We can also, you know, sit outside, but I have to clean, clean it. Yup. And this is where I study. Pretty cozy space. The radiator works very good. And yeah, that is that. So first and the foremost, 
like selection of the modules there will be a lot of uh, subjects that are being offered by the university in that particular semester suppose from my case i am considering my mme kame curriculum and uh, uh, i had a lot of options including management uh, subjects and engineering subjects compulsory subjects were there also language courses were there so combining all of those at first i took eight subjects uh, to be specifically if i can remember there was computational intelligence and engineering number 2 was management and engineering perspective third word art artificial neural network and structural mechanics mm, then there was this language course of german uh, then we had uh, additive manufacturing uh, production management a then i had uh, quality management and the last subject was the linear control systems so at the end of uh, so at the beginning i took all these subjects uh, i went to each and every lectures and then uh, slowly you will uh, feel that which subjects uh, you like the most and you will slowly get a feel of how you you will be able to you know perform in examinations as well so the first thing that i did in december was to draw up artificial neural network instructional mechanics linear control systems uh, these two subjects i dropped and i was supposed to give six subjects examination uh, the management and engineering perspective was a 50% presentation of case study and 50% was an mcq test so in computational intelligence and engineering the project was based on artificial intelligence on structural health monitoring of a bridge and uh, like uh, 80% weightage was there on the um, uh, presentation that we had to do uh, with the results and the rest of it was allocated to the report submission so various kinds of examination has their own pattern different patterns and you have to you know navigate your way through it some of them will involve teamwork some of them will involve uh, just you in the examination hall writing um, big questions and uh, calculating stuff so uh, the second most important thing is to do incremental study every day see if you are about to embark on a journey into one of the best universities in the world it is no way going to be easy for you it will be challenging but it is doable so the one thing that i did was whatever was being taught in the uh, college at any particular lecture or in any exercise lessons i at least used to come home and go through those at least once it does nothing but it registers it gets registered in your mind that okay this is how it was done and later when you come back to that particular subjects it is very easy for you to pick up from where you left uh, previously what you are learning in the class it's very important to have a revision lesson once you come I'm not telling you that you shouldn't have a social life. You should go out your, with your friends, have party. I also did the same till uh, January first, so till December last week. I partied hard, like really hard. But I, I was also doing this incremental study every day. And from January, I was like in underground mode, and like nobody could see me. And especially the computational intelligence in engineering, that project was uh, a, a little bit tough for me because. Uh, i had no coding background and there was this artificial intelligence uh, uh, classification uh, problem that we had to do using uh, python and it was pretty new to me so it was a bit stressful i would say but it was very interesting because the project was 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 very fascinating like it, they gave us a real life project of how the structural health monitoring of bridges can be done and how like we can uh, use uh, predictive maintenance for the bridges and uh, such stuff uh coming to additive manufacturing i would say that uh, uh it was it is a bit theoretical as well as calculation intensive uh but it is uh, it is easy to score if you know how to solve and if you are well versed with the uh, exercises and the uh, theory portions uh, it had 56 pages of question paper yeah that's a bit much even i was overwhelmed by the size of the question it was a booklet the question paper was a booklet but well i got a 1.7 in that and uh, so in production management a is the next subject that uh, i gave exam or the last exam that i gave it was related to uh, production optimization manufacturing and assembly planning uh, product architecture and you know blah 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 stuff like related to production of uh, machines and uh, products as i can say Uh, and i was supposed to give an exam on 11th of march also i went to india for, it was my brother's wedding uh, so yeah that's the picture and uh, it was a very fun time like it was a surprise for the whole family because i didn't tell anyone uh, back home that i was going and they were like really 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 
overwhelmed. And uh, I thought that I would come back here on 6th and then uh, I would be able to, you know, study for 4-5 days and give the exam. But uh, I really didn't want to mess up my grades as a result of which I dropped that last subject. So in this semester, I gave a total of 5 examinations. Uh, one examination result is uh, still left you know, to be published. That is for the computational intelligence and engineering. Other than that, all the 4 are published. And... Uh, for production management day, I haven't been given the snapshot because the uh, report card was not available. It was a preliminary grade of 1.7, but uh, like, yeah, fine. Like, I was expecting somewhat around 1.3, but, you know, it was a bit, well, something happened. I don't want to go into it, but okay, I'm content with it. <laughs> so, and... Uh, one more thing, you guys are coming to a new university and you will find a lot of influences around yourself. Get involved, but don't get uh, carried away in it. You should try everything, but also in the back of your mind, you should always uh, have this responsibility towards yourself because you are here alone. Unless and until you have a very good roommate who has your back every single time. Also, uh, make uh, good friends. And I follow a principle of OQP only quality people because they are the people who will enrich your life and as well as it will help you to maintain your uh, goals good thinking good uh, personalities and also being around these people will help you you know flourish your ideas or any kind of stuff that you will be thinking that will be in a, on, on the good better side only so I always suggest you guys that once you are coming here not everyone is your friend, not everyone is your enemy. So choose your friends very carefully and uh, learn to work in a group because uh, you will find a lot of uh, subjects which involves uh, uh, teamwork and it's very important for you to uh, go ahead and, you know, get together in the group, discuss it. Even if somebody is not uh, participating, help them where they are lacking. Uh, you should support them at uh, time of need. You will see that you will also get the same correspondence from your side when you are lacking in, in certain uh, characters or in certain skills for that particular project. So you have to work hard to get good grades. I got a lot of texts from people who were joining in the summer semester as well as they're in the upcoming winter semester. And they were asking like, how hard is it to score in uh, Eritrea? But I would say that it's not very hard. It's quite doable. But you have to be dedicated and you have to know your stuff. You have to regularly practice the calculations or you have to know the methodologies which are involved in that particular calculation. For business uh, subjects or management subjects, I would say that once you try to get the idea behind the lectures, it becomes very easy. And for me, uh, I used to, I used to, you know, uh, talk to myself about how I, I'm going to interpret a particular type of problem. And uh, that is how I... Uh, learned the lectures for the management and engineering perspective for which I got one and like I was I was like over the roof like I was so happy with the results of management and engineering perspective the German is also good I will also start learning German uh, in this semester also I am planning to at least uh, I got a 1.3 in German and uh, but still I will just get the grades and uh, in my certificate it will be the grades will be 1.3 but uh, in a transcript, it will be just given as pass because uh, it's it's a like a language uh, is a, like a mm, like a criteria that I that we need to pass and they they will not count the grades which which will be coming in it. So yeah, that is that. So study hard, incremental uh, study every day, party hard, uh, go out with your friends, refresh your minds, uh, go out with quality people and. Uh, have good food, learn to cook, and uh, listen to music. I think your life in Germany will be quite sorted. So, so if you guys have any special requests for any particular video, please uh, comment below, and uh, I'll definitely try to get back to that. Uh, but till then, subscribe to my channel, share with your friends, and cheers.